I'm exactly. I don't remember. How long were you there? I don't remember. Who put you up to this? Nobody. I want a name. You're wasting your time. I know my rights. <laughs> your rights. My God, yeah. Your rights. And you know what? I respect those rights. I especially respect the rights of the people you tried to snuff out. Commissioner, Art, be... I haven't even started yet. You haven't booked him yet either. Well, let's try murder one. Hey, I didn't murder anybody. Of course anybody. you did. It's called an unborn child. You sent that elevator down and you killed it. Oh, go murder one. Life imprisonment. It's got a nice ring to it, hasn't it? Ain't life imprisonment. Big, tall, good-looking guy like you. Make a lot of friends in prison. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Think about those rights. Think about them before the public defender gets here. Especially think about the one regarding your right to remain silent. Because in your case, I wouldn't bother doing that. Find a nice cold cell for it. Maybe it'll loosen up his mouth. Get him out of here. Let's go. Just before you go. Lest you think I'm trying to threaten you. I'm just pointing out the facts. Here you go. Come on. Somebody, please. Anybody. Please. Help me out. Hey! I wouldn't even consider that. Who are you? Why are you holding me here? Answer me. I demand an answer. Oh, the little lady's making demands already. I told you she was this tight. Yeah, well, look, uh, we'd all enjoy ourselves a lot more if you just relax. Who are you? Why do you have me here? Hey, the questions, they just keep coming, don't they? But look, I told you to relax. It's Olivia, isn't it? You work for Olivia. Never heard of her. Are you going to answer me? I'm telling you to behave yourself. No more questions. You'll, you'll find out everything soon enough. So what am I supposed to do in the meantime in this home? Hey, what are you complaining about? You're not so bad. I have to... I'm hungry. I have to eat. I'm thirsty. And I would like to use the bathroom. It's a bathroom. You'll eat and you'll drink. And all your creature comforts will be taken care of. We'll be outside. I don't do anything foolish. Hey, that's some piece of work, huh? Yeah, right. How long do we have to pleasure through the company? As long as we're told to. Strange things happen. Oh, it is you. <laughs> yeah. Does Daddy know? Of course. He's always known. What? It was his idea. I don't understand. You will. Oh, Julie, I have so many questions. They just don't matter now. What matters is you're alive and you're healthy and handsome as I remember. Good. God, you're good. You're incredible. What do you mean? What are you talking about? You should have been an actress. You would have been a star. Anybody who's gotten away with the game you've gotten away with deserves something better than an Oscar. How was my funeral, by the way? You must have had a field day. What are you talking about? Go ahead, lay it on. It's perfect. End of act two, the dumb, sweet, Stupid, innocent kid lays in a pool of blood, no. dying on the sidewalk. Enter his loving, grief-stricken oh, sister. stop it! To take his place, to take over, to take it all. Suddenly, her dead and buried brother shows up and looks her in the eye and says, 
I know what you did. I know! You tried to kill me. Go ahead. Act for me. Let me sit on my find you here. Yeah. Yeah, that was up. Uh, oh, I'm not really hungry. What about Anna? She's asleep. Yes, she needs it. Yep. What about you? This is sort of a light lunch. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. I'm not really hungry. What's happening at headquarters? Well, we're making progress. Let's, uh... Let's leave it at that. What do you think about Anna, I mean? What do you think? I'm concerned. Yeah, I am too. This has really knocked the life out of me. Quite literally. Yeah, I mean, not only the child that was inside of her, but she's, she's lost her spirit as well. I was so looking forward to that baby. I mean, I've known her for a long time, but I've never seen her quite that happy before. She was really excited. Yeah, we both were. So was Robin. I don't... I don't know what to say. I don't know what I could do to possibly help her. No. I guess there isn't a whole lot you can do, is there? Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to ask you about Anna, but after a look at the two of you, I guess I don't have to. Is there anything I can do? Well, you're the nurse. You should be telling us. Nobody has all of the answers, Robert. No. Sorry about that. That's okay. I'll see you later. Yeah. So, you've got this Tim character. Got him. He hasn't said a whole lot. Hello. Yep. Mm. Oh, hi. Sorry hi, to Anna. interrupt you. Haven't seen Anna yet. How's she doing? Ah, she's asleep. But I saw you sitting over there. I was going to ask if you wouldn't mind later, maybe popping into room C. I think it might help. I'd be happy to. In fact, I intended to stop by and see her today anyway. I appreciate it. Okay. Do. Anna's awake and she wants to see you. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, well, hey, Cousin Robbie! I mean, Robert. I guess it's my day. Ah, you have one difficult tale to follow, I can tell you. Pardon, Cronulla? I have been following your tail all day. You've been tailing me? Well, exactly. That's what I just said. Yeah. You, uh, yeah, why don't you, I've got to hang around here and give a vocabulary lesson, I think. Okay, we'll catch up. Oh, um, I, I'm really sorry about what happened, Anna. Would you say hello to me, please? And I'll be up in a little bit to see I you. I think it's a little soon for that. Oh, well, then, will you tell me when it's all right? In the meantime, please give her my sincere condolences and tell her that in any case that she needs... I would thank you, so I would. Yeah. Listen, Prunie. Mm -hmm. The word is to tail, as in a verb, to tail someone. Yes. Not, as, not as in tail a thing that you wag, you know? Oh, well, I've got a bit mixed up. I mean, I can't be right all the time. What do you think? You're absolutely right. <sighs> anyway, I understand you're looking for that bloke, Tim. <sighs> We've got him. He's in custody. Oh, goodness. Did you have to lock him up? I mean, he seems such a nice bloke. Spare me the character reference. Oh, look, I'm not one to argue, Robert, mm -hmm. but in this country, it's innocent until proven guilty. Prunie, look, I haven't got the time to stick around and debate the pros and cons of the American judicial system. Oh, yeah, but Robert, I have something else I had to tell you. Cronella, are you all by your lonesome? Oh, yeah, isn't it the way sometimes? Sometimes it is. Well, why don't you come and sit down and have some lunch with me? Oh, thank you. I'd like that very much. But there's one problem. I didn't intend to eat here. I mean, I do prefer the food at Ruby's. At least you know what's under all the cats that have been sourced. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do know what you mean, exactly. We'll sit down anyway. We don't have to eat. We'll just keep each other company. All right, thank you. That's a lovely invitation. You know, I'll do just that. You know, the food at a hospital gets a bad rap, as they say. Or is it bad rep? Either way, actually. Oh, well, you know, there are all those jokes about how the hospital food is bad, but this food isn't a joke, it's just bad. 